Hello guys, I am here with a very special woman and I want her to introduce herself. We only have a few seconds, but uh, it's important that you hear from her. So I'm going to let her introduce herself, why we are here, what she does, and what this means to her, and what it means to the community. So take it away. Thank you very much, Nicole, for this opportunity. I'm Edna, Edna Abri. Mm -hmm. I'm the constituency women organizer for Whole West in the Volta region for the Nas New Democratic Congress, mm -hmm. ENB, National Democratic Congress, okay. ENBC. Okay. And so we are gathered here today as women. Um, I have here my deputy, Peace Maonya Bequin. She is my deputy okay. and one of our branch chairperson, Cynthia Samoa, okay. all in the NDC. Okay. We are gathered here today for training for um, young mothers who are unemployed and teenagers that are also unemployed. We are here to train them with some basic skills in pastry making to equip them to be self-sufficient. So that's basically our purpose for gathering here. Okay. It is our hope and our desire that whatever we will learn here, mm -hmm. um, we'll get a little support for them, a little startup for them, mm -hmm. so that they can also make a living for themselves. Okay, yeah. that's good. So what does this mean to you? So Why do you do it? Yeah, so to me, um, it's an opportunity for um, lending a helping hand to the less privileged. It's an opportunity for us to learn new skills as well. Mm -hmm. I'm a teacher by profession okay. and together with my sisters here. But this training will equip us as well mm -hmm. that we will learn new things and the, the new mothers too will also learn new things to improve upon their lives. Okay. So how do, if somebody's watching this and they need help, how do they contact you? How do they get help from you? All right. So, um, you can reach me on my cell phone number, okay. 024 967 3660. Okay. Yeah. And so um, we link up and then we we organize the program wherever you are. We bring it to your doorstep. Okay. We, in fact, the program is on community basis. So okay. from here, we move to four other communities. Okay. We are doing it within the space of five days. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so if anybody's hearing you right now and they want to help, how can they, you know, contribute? Thank you very much. Um, teenage pregnancy um, is very predominant in my area here. And so we still like to use this opportunity to appeal to whoever wants to help us across the world that our doors and arms are open. There are young ladies out there, some even less than 18 years, who have children. Not one, not two, they have children and they need assistance. Most of them are unemployed. And so a little assistance to establish them with a vocational skill will be very helpful to them and the babies that they have as well. Okay. And so our doors are open for any form of assistance, be it cash, be it training, mm -hmm. be it advice, mm -hmm. in whatever form our doors are open. So they should contact that number. Can yes. you give that Zero number two, one more time? Yeah, 24 967 Okay, and those of you who are outside of the country, it's 233 before the number. That's yes. the area code if you guys want to reach out. So I appreciate you. I want to hear more, but because of time, I am going to end it here, but I will definitely come back, you know, so that we can ha have more conversation because what you are doing is amazing. And one thing I want you to remind people, you are over how many women again? We are, for this particular training, we anticipate to train over 88 single mothers, mm -hmm. single young, young mothers. mothers. Yes. So okay. we, that is our estimation. Okay. But from what we have experienced here today, in fact, for the opening session, we were expecting only 15 people. 
but we have close to 30 here. Mm -hmm. It means there are more people out okay. there that we need to reach out to. Right. Right. Yeah. So thank you very much for this thank opportunity. Is there anything else you want to say to everybody before we go? Okay, so we are here in Ghana mm -hmm. and this is our problem. This is where we find ourselves. But we are doing everything we can to brighten the corner where mm -hmm. we find ourselves. Yeah. And so let's, let's come out if there is help and let's come out and help these young ones. Some of them, it's out of ignorance they find themselves yes. in this situation. Yes. So they need education, they need skills training so that they can be self reliant. Okay. Thank you very so much. So, wherever you are, whatever help you can render, we are, well, our doors are open, like she said. Please do the best that you can to help these women out. So, stay safe, guys, and bless, Hi. and I'll see you on the next Thank one. You. Bye.